Hello, I'm Rebecca Kennard from Pittsburgh, and I'm going to show you how to make this cool three balloon football helmet. You're going to need <clears throat> three balloons, two 260s and one 160. You're going to need a 160 in silver, gray, white, or black and two 260s in your team colors. I'm going to use red and yellow because I think they'll show up nice on the camera. And to make a football, if you want to, use a half of a mocha brown 646. I only have blush. You can get two footballs out of each 646. Blow up a red 260 the whole way to the end it's going to be like the blue one, but I'm using red instead. So the color you want more of, you blow that up the whole way and let a nice puff of air out of it so it's a little bit mushy, but it's still blown up the whole way. And we're going to make a basic helmet. Measure <clears throat> around your head and twist off your loop for your helmet. And then bring the top over and twist it around the middle of the rest of the loop. You want a little bit higher on the top. Um, you might have to stretch it a little bit for an adult head. And then each little section gets twisted right in the middle. Just like sausage links, you tr twist it right in half of each one. And then you shape each little section. Each little sausage gets curved. So you just kind of rub it back and forth on itself and curve each little section. And you have that. I don't like the end sticking out, so I'm going to pinch twist that little bubble on the side of the helmet. <clears throat> then you take your other 260 that's going to be the stripe, blow it up about halfway. There's about, I don't know, an 8 or 10 inch tail on it. Um, you make a pinch twist, a 1 inch bubble and pinch twist it at the very beginning. And then you look at your helmet. Um, the top, the tallest part is going to be the top of the hat. So pick whichever a uh, little curve that looks the tallest and that'll be the top of your football helmet. You're going to take that pinch twist and wrap it in the back section of the hat in the middle. The middle back section, not where the pinch twists are, but just the twist. And let that 260 stripe just lay naturally right over the red balloon. You don't want to fold the red balloon at all, you just want it to go halfway over. And then the rest of the yellow balloon, you shape it as you see how I'm curving it. You shape it as you lay it down halfway right to the front of the helmet. Wrap it around. Make a one inch bubble and pinch twist it. And then snap off the rest. If there's air in it, it should snap right apart. Tie it in a knot. And wrap it around right like that. Take um, for your face mask a 160. I had used a silver one, blowing up the whole way. Let a nice puff of air out of it so you can shape it and curve it. Take the knot end and pick whichever end you want for the front of your football helmet. Kind of look at it and see which one was look, would look better for the front of the helmet. Wrap the knot around the pinch twist in the front. It's going to be the yellow, um, whichever one's the stripe, that's where you wrap it. Go down a finger length from the top of your finger to the bottom, put a twist in there, and then go to the side of the helmet where the red pinch twist is, just let that lay right up along the side, wrap it around the red pinch twist, and then you're going to go to the very end of your 160 and <clears throat> measure from the top of your finger down to where your thumb starts. So from your finger down to the top of your where your thumb starts and put a twist in that. And 
I might, might take a try or two, but once you get the um, face mask, mask down with one balloon, you can do it. When I started, I was using two balloons, and then I figured out how to do it with one balloon, so that's really helpful now. Wrap it right around the front of the face mask in that middle fold right in the front of the face mask, and let that one part hang down. <clears throat> and then you're going to take it over from the middle of the helmet, take the 160 over to the other side where the red pinch twist is and wrap it around so it curves nicely. It's like a smile. It's going to curve right over. And then take the remaining of the 160. It'll curve right down to the bottom of the little piece of 160 sticking out. Twist off a tiny little bubble. And you wrap it right around the center, just like so. And then we're going to shape it. So you have something that looks like this. We're going to put a little shape in your face mask. You just kind of pinch it and flick it out. It's called a shock twist. Pinch flick it. It's about a finger length from the center of the mask to, to out to where you shock twist it. Twist it and shape it out. And then do each section, do the upper level over on each side from the front of the mask, and then do the lower level. So I'm doing the upper level and then the lower level. And then the next thing we're going to do, we're going to put a shock twist in the lower level level over on the sides. We're done with the upper level. Uh, <laughs> we're done with the upper level. We're going to do the bottom level. Go finger length out from where you shock twisted the lower level and flick that and give it a little shape. Do the same thing on the other side. So it would be kind of like look like a jaw like you would if you were making an animal with a big jaw hanging down. Just kind of shape that out by flicking it out right like that. And if it's crooked at all or anything stuck just adjust it. Just kind of push it around until you straighten it out and you have a really awesome cool looking football helmet I make so many of these it's such a popular thing around Pittsburgh people drive me nuts for these so it's it's a fun one to add to your collection and and you put it on your head the little yellow pinch twist goes on your forehead right in the center of your forehead like so. And then the football, you can get two footballs out of each 646. Use mocha brown, not blush. I only have a blush one because I, I used up all my mocha brown. And use the adding marker. White. One of my favorite things. And you put little um, hand threads in. Put a little line and then put little um, hand thread lines going around it. If you have a lot of time, you can draw circles around each side or double circles to make it look more football-ish, but I never do that unless I am slow and there's not a lot of people. I usually have a long line. And there's your football helmet. You can email me or message me if you have any questions and visit me at abcballoontwisting.net. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching and happy twisting.